What's up, idols? It's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see, I fixed my mic. Well, it wasn't broken. I'm just stupid. I figured out how to use it. So when I started my channel, I started pretty much about my own dating in Korea story times as a foreigner, my own woes, struggling and swiping on Tinder, my life in Korea as an English teacher, vlogging around Seoul, things like that. But for the past year or so, we've been getting emails from you guys sharing your own cautionary tales and dramas of dating in Korea as a foreigner. And I'm so grateful for those. By the way, if you have a story you wanna share with us, email me at cclesson3 at yahoo.com. You can stay anonymous. Most people on my channel prefer it that way. But we also get a lot of emails from girls who say, hey sis, I don't have a story time for you, but you won't believe this crazy thing this dude said to me on Tinder. So we got screenshots today and that's what we're gonna get into in this video. The typical ghosting, desperately seeking sex, ranting against feminism, Tinder, Hinge, Instagram, you name it. Rap you name it! I used to do videos like this with my own fucked up DMs. <laughs> Roll the tape. I said, if you read my profile, you'd save yourself a lot of time. LOL, sorry to waste your time. Bye. He said, hey, you know what? Please leave Korea. You had nothing to be in the States and you came here to teach? You're garbage. Anyone can teach. I said, okay, bye. He goes, please go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs no. some milk. It was treacherous out here. We're in the wild, wild west. Some of the DMs we're gonna see in this video are a little saucy, not safe for YouTube. <laughs> so I do have to mute and censor myself. I'm sorry, but I need to monetize the video. If you wanna see it uncensored and ad free, you can go to my Patreon linked in the description and you can join it. I also just put another video up on my Patreon today. Then he asked if I'd ever slept with a Korean man. I said, no, he asked why. I said, they don't seem to be interested in me. I never thought about it. He said, well, I'm interested in you. We'll have fun, winky smiley face. As long as we're both clear and have the same goal, what's the harm? So we eat together, but to be honest, I couldn't stop thinking about what we were about to do. So yeah, you can join my Patreon if you wanna see those story times that I can't put on YouTube, and also if you wanna see some of these videos that are uncensored and ad-free. So for this video, just to give you a brief idea of what we're gonna get into, here's one of my favorite that I got not that long ago. I left a comment on the guy's picture, it was on Hinge, and I said, where's this pic? It looks nice. He goes, Tenerife, very nice. I said, oh wow, that's crazy. I was supposed to go there in two weeks, but this morning my friend had to cancel. And then he says, LOL, pity, you go there for holiday? I said, yeah, it's a tradition of mine. I take a trip every August. This is my first summer in the UK and it's been kind of depressing, LOL, rainy and cold. And he says, cool, want us some sex? Oh! I, who the f you think you talking to? So this is the first one I got that we're gonna go over. <laughs> she said we can call her Carmen. So first we see, hey, nice for chatting. Yeah, nice to meet you. You like Korea? I'm new here, but so far it's nice. You like me? I might, haha, <laughs> can we talk first? 아직도 섹시한. That means like, still sexy. And then he said, you sexy. You sex me? Sorry, I'm drink. So then she says, I don't think this will work, bye. And then they said, wait, sorry. And uh, she unmatched him after that. <laughs> and then we got another one. So she said, welcome. And he said, yeah. She said, what are you looking for here? He said, pretty girl, is it you? She said, I think I'm pretty, but that's not all. He said, I don't need more, only pretty, really pretty, not fake pretty, so much makeup, so much filter. Who is real now? I hope you real. She said, wow, that's something. I think makeup is nice, but sure, it shouldn't change your face. I think people edit because of strict beauty standards. Women face a lot of pressure to look nice. And he says, oh no. Are you feminist? Please no. No more hanyeong. So, okay, I Googled hanyeong and I remember hearing the term hanam. So when we did the video last year about all those stabs that were happening and they seemed to be so close together and around the same theme of some lonely, weird incel with undiagnosed mental illnesses who went on sprees and they left online manifestos about how much they hate women and how much they're lonely and how they're losers. Cause like a woman was in a park near Naksong Day near where Bria used to live. Um, there was a in Hanan, Hanamdong and like a shopping mall where he drove his car, ran some people over and then stat. There was a lot going on. So that's when I first heard the term Hanam because a lot of people were on these forums online talking about it. So Hanam is basically Hanguk Namja and that's just a Korean man. But these days is used as a derogatory term towards Korean men. So apparently, hanyo is the same thing, but for Korean women. So when young Korean men are mad at young Korean women, they call them hanyo. Not to be mixed up with hanyo, because those are the lovely diving ajumas in Jeju, no relation. 
In this group, ages range from 50 to 90 years old. So he asked her if she was Hanyo. She said, I don't know what that is. Does it say Hanyo? He said, it's stupid feminist thinking. Too many in Korea these days. I hope foreigner have different mind, but you the same. Feminists think women deserve more for being women. More than men, it makes no sense. Crazy. Women can vote, work, be mom, have friends, no military. What else do you need? Women have freedoms. So then this girl says, wow, this took a turn. Because I said I like makeup and women face pressure to look nice, I'm a feminist. I personally don't advocate as a feminist, but I do think women deserve equal treatment. And then she said, damn, I guess it is as bad as they say here. He said, what's bad, where? She said, in Korea, gender issues. He said, there is no issue. Feminists create issue. Short hair, get fat, call man rapper, no more wife, it's lie. They expect everything. Really? That's <sighs> So then she said, there's no issue, no stalking, no spy cam, no assault, weak crime punishment against women. You think everything is okay? And then he says, it is false. Feminists only lie. So then she said, good luck finding your pretty girl who doesn't care about her rights as a woman. That ain't me. I just, I, I, <sighs> God. And it's funny because there's this, this video that I really want to make just ranting about feminism. But it's going to be long, so I've been putting it off. But when I see messages like this, I feel like it just needs to be done. And I do honestly feel so much better when I get these thoughts out of my head. I feel a lot better. It really is therapy. All that on Hinge, bro. If I had to rank all dating sites, Hinge is usually up there as the one that's supposed to be more serious, right? Whereas like me for Tinder would be at the bottom. <laughs> So this next one, he said, do you speak Korean? She said, I'm trying to learn. Maybe you can help me. He said, I'm a good teacher. She said, cool, haha. -ha. He said, what will you do? What do you mean? And he says, tonight, winky smiley face. You will come to hate this winky smiley face. I don't know why it triggers like some PTSD for me. Like I'm seeing it a lot in these screenshots and I remember seeing it a lot back in the day on Tinder. And it's just, it's not even like a cute wink anymore. It's like, <laughs> I see this demented sex demon every time I see that winky smiley face. <sighs> war. Terrible war. He said, oh, I don't know. Probably study. I have class early tomorrow. He said, I can help you sleep. Winky smiley face again. She said, I don't have problems sleeping. He said, oh. And that's where that left off. The winky smiley face and I can help you sleep. What y'all think he talked? Go tell me right now in the comments what y'all think he meant. He's gonna f*** her to sleep. So this next one, um, you guys know we have like channel memberships and stuff and we have a discord and we spill some tea and we just talk about things and random memes and videos and stuff. So there's a girl who's been like a long time channel member. She's been living in Korea since like 2021. Like she keeps the chat popping and interesting. So a while ago she shared this in the chat and I asked, I was like, you know, I'm going to make this video because I'm starting to get these DM messages, like these screenshots are piling up. Can I add yours to the video? She was like, yeah, girl, sure. Hey girl, hey. Here comes your clips. <laughs> so for a little backstory, this guy was someone that she used to talk to and he just stopped one day and she's moved on and then he came back because that always happens, right? So he says, hello, how are you living in Korea? I contacted you because I was wondering how you are doing in Korea. There is no other meaning. So she said, why were you wondering about me? He said, because you are alone in Korea. She said, you ignored me the last time I sent you a message. Are you not ashamed of yourself? And then he says, I didn't ignore you. I told you that you no longer want to contact me. I thought of you sometimes. I came from afar and wondered how you were. She said, I see, dot, 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 dot. He says, yes, dot, 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 dot. She said, I'm fine. So then he says, good. She said, I'm not alone. I have a boyfriend. We've been together for almost a year. He says, oh, Korean. She says, yes. He says, congratulations, I want to see you, but you have a boyfriend and you don't want to see me. Happy life in Korea. She said, why do you want to see me? He said, miss. She said, I see. I thought you had a girlfriend though. He says, I have a girlfriend too. You look so dumb right now. 
what is the point of these dudes getting in relationships if they don't want to be with just one person like if you're one of them what the fresh and fit corny clowns like if you want multiple women then fine do that but don't pretend you want to be with just one what is the point of that if you can believe it or not somehow it gets better slash worse then he says your sex style suits me so i was wondering how you were doing so i contacted you isn't this so cute and so sweet how he made it seem like he messes her because oh no you, my poor lonely friend in korea i should message her and see how she's doing no he just wanted to f her again she said like i said before congratulations on your girlfriend i hope you are happy with her he said i see i'm happy but sometimes I think of time I spent with you. Sorry, I won't contact you anymore. Have a good day. What was the point of that? Did he expect her to be like, I mean, I miss sex with you too. Like you trying to come through? No. How did these dudes always like leave for months or weeks or years even and then come back like everything's totally fine? I know time heals all wounds and we may not be hurting anymore, but that doesn't mean we want anything to do with you now. We just fixed our life and you want to come and fuck it up again. A lot of things are just best left in the past, so let's just leave them there, huh? By the way, this isn't the only time we'll get a message from someone flirting with a foreigner who has a girlfriend or even a wife. <laughs> but first we have a short one from Tinder. He said, beauty. She said, thanks, that's sweet. You're handsome too. He said, can we go on a date? She said, sure, I'd like that. And he said, good. And then she says, when would you like to meet? Then he doesn't respond. So then she says, this weekend I'm free. Doesn't respond. Then she sends a question mark, no response. And then she says, okay, never mind then. Yeah, he just ghosted her. And like, I know a lot of dudes are like, look, girls ghost too. I'm only speaking this way because I'm a woman who dates men, so I can't speak for how women ghost. I'm sure women ghost, but like, let me complain. <laughs> this is what I know. Oh boy, and this one, here we go. So she says, thanks for matching. He says, sure, haha. -ha. Are you single, really? She says, yes, <laughs> are you? And he just sends a winky smiley face and she sends a question mark. He says, ha ha, depends. She said, on? Question mark. He said, you. She said, it depends on me, WDYM. And then he says, what is WDYM? She said, it means- What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? And then he's changed the subject. He said, I think you very beautiful. Why did you choose me? She said, thanks, that's sweet. I suppose you're cute and you seem normal. And he says, normal, ha ha, do I? I never date with foreign girl. She said, why? He said, never had the chance. She said, oh, okay. And he said, do you live alone? We've talked about this before as well. Whenever they ask you, do you live alone? Run. So she said, why do you ask that? He said, just question. She said, I don't wanna answer that if that's okay. He said, I asked because if we date, we might have ONS. She says, what's ONS? He says, one night. It is one night. She says, like, if we date, you think we only have for one night? He said, maybe. Winky smiley face. And then she says, BTW, you never answered my question. And then she says, by the way, so he doesn't have to ask, what is BTW? Then he says, what questions? She said, are you single? And then he just said, oh. Then he says, I do have a girlfriend, but it's okay. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! What are we talking about here? <laughs> no! <laughs> what are we doing here? Like, <laughs> Bruh. So then she just sends a bunch of clown emojis. There's just themes here that just frustrate me with these messages. By the way, um, so what had happened was I've been getting these types of emails over the course of the past year or so. And when I get the emails with the pictures, I download them and I save them to my photos and I put them in a separate album called like creepy DMs. So if I don't have the proper names with the screenshots, I'm so sorry. These are kind of jumbled up now at this point. I know a lot of the times you guys don't want to be named. You'd rather be anonymous because people are like, oh, why would you keep talking to him when he's being so creepy? Why would you should have blocked him immediately as soon as he told you you had a girl? So a lot of people, they like to avoid the shame, don't identify me and that's that's totally cool 
some of these screenshots have like their name mentioned in it and most of them don't so i'm so sorry it's all jumbled up thank you so much for sending these in but i can't always put the name or the backstory to the picture because honestly i wasn't sure if i was ever going to make this video and now that we're here i should have planned this better so we have another one where she says hey and he says how are you she says i'm good you he says me too what are you doing she said nothing haha <laughs> talking to you you're really cute young oh heyo he says, Whoa. <laughs> She says, no, only a little. And he says, it's okay, I speak English, don't worry. So then she said, thanks. And he says, do you know FWB? She said, I do. I added on my profile that I don't want to do that. He said, oh really? Not even with me? <laughs> Hello, my fellow citizens. I am the new president of Riz. And then she says, no. Then he says, we can try, winky smiley face. You will like, give me time, chebar. So he says, hi. Then he sends two question marks. Then he says, fine, no sex, let's meet as friends. You must be boring, bye. <laughs> These are all individual messages where the last thing she said to him was just no. Then we get to another one. He says, you're stunning, where are you from? She said, nice opener. Thanks, I'm Washington in the US. Ever been to the States? He said, of course, I went with family and for studies. She said, oh, did you like it? He said, America is okay, but Korea is better. Actually, wait, America is Thai, kuku. Different good and different bad. She said, I agree, it's nice to leave the States sometimes, LOL. He said, you can stay here when we get married, winky smiley face. She said, huh, LOL. He said, if you are my wife, you can stay in Korea. She said, I don't want to stay in Korea forever. I have family at home. He says, ah, kuh, kuh, kuh. She said, LOL. He said, do you live alone, baby? What do we do? Everybody say it together. Run. She said, I do, dot, 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 dot. Why? You're not supposed to answer him, baby girl. You don't answer, no. And then he said, I can come to your home. She said, no, we just met. You might be a killer. He said only a way to find out, k -k -k -k. He is literally telling her to f around and find out. She said, question mark, that's not funny. He said, sorry, I made poor joke. Women have to be careful. She said, thank you for understanding. He said, man can keep you safe. She said, man can kill me. <laughs> Facts. He said, not all man is bad. She said, I know, but most killers are men. And then he says, feminist. That's a feminist, by the way. That's feminist Korean spelling. She said, what's that mean? Feminist. So because she is a woman who wants to be careful about a dude she doesn't know coming to her house, she's a feminist. Okay, makes sense. Stop it. Get some help. Here's, here's a good one. She says, hey, what brings you to Tinder? You're cute, but not much on your profile. His very next message is, I have wife. Stop doing that! Stop! You're not original! She said, why are you using a dating app if you're married? What the f And he says, for sex. Weaky smiley face. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So then she said, you're an asshole. Stop wasting people's time. Blocked. And that's the end of that chat. So now we're coming to the last one for this video because I feel like I've been talking for a while. Here we go. He goes, wow. She says, what's wrong? He said, you matched me? She said, yes. He said, I feel so lucky, which is cute. Oh, that's, that's cute. Good. So far, so good. She said, haha, you're a sweetie. He said, I am. Do you like K-pop? She said, I do, especially NCT. He said, do you know BTS? She said, of course, LOL, why? He said, I can meet. She said, what? He said, I can meet you with BTS one day. She said, I don't understand, I'm sorry. He said, never mind, forget. So she goes, okay. He said, it's the weekend, what will you do? I don't have any plan. She says, sorry for the late reply, I was out at lunch with friends. He said, okay, so what will you do? She said, I don't have plans either. He said, come to my house. What do you, just guess what's after that. Yes, it's a winky smiley face. She said, I'm sorry, what? That's random. He said, why random? This is dating app. We can have hookup. I want you. She said, I'd rather not, too soon. He said, okay, I can wait. And then he just said Sunday. And that's where that ended. Holy shit.
we haven't done one of these types of videos in a while this was kind of fun this was actually really fun but it also the the woes and the treachery that's out there in the dating scene these days oh my god i don't miss it so if you like this video let me know in the comments please leave a like see if it's animated down there please subscribe did it work is it animated and if you have dms like this please send them to me because we can we can react to them together and just learn a little from each other thanks for watching if you did remember to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Annyeong.